today we will discuss about the development of chemistry a brief history of chemistry the medieval predecessor of chemistry called alchemy was based on the supposed transformation of matter particularly concerned with the attempts to convert the base metals into gold supposed transformers important that is alchemists believed the metals that means which we know today as individual elements today we know that each metals are the individual elements to be alive and growing underground according to them according to the alchemists the base metals are alive and growing underground according to them iron lead were thought to be merely immature and undeveloped only versions of silver and gold according to them now alchemists believed that they could refine base metals into precious metals if they could find the substance called philosopher stone the philosopher stones according to the alchemists they believed that they could transform that's why the first point the supposed transformations of matter the philosopher stones the philosopher stones which was searched by them was a magical works liquid or powder that could heal minor illness and prolong people's life as well as change base metals into the precious metals alchemy is the belief these properties of the philosopher stones during their quest for transformations of metals into gold alchemists performed various experiments with the different metals and recorded the results they have also recorded the results they did some important experiments although they were unsuccessful in their quest their experiments their experiments and records laid the foundation of development of the systematic branch of knowledge chemistry systematic branch the alchemists were however successful in developing processes to extract metals such as iron and they also prepared alloys such as bronze though they were unsuccessful to find the philosopher stones they successfully prepared alloys such as bronze and they have also discovered the extractions of different base metals such as iron we had a new term alloy alloy is a mixture that is made by combining two or more metals this is the combination of two or more metals the first scientist who made the clear distinctions between alchemy and chemistry was robert boyle in his book called the skeptical chemist the skeptical chemist according to this book and the robert boyle although both alchemy and chemistry are concerned with matter the major difference between these two branches of knowledge is that chemists apply scientific method to their work anthony lahoshia developed the law of conservation of mass this is a law and based on different experiments as well as observations which needed careful measurement and quantitative observations of chemical phenomena these careful measurement and 
observations lead to the establishment of chemistry as a separate branch of knowledge. So students, this is the just a brief history of chemistry. We heard the new terms alchemy. They are the medieval predecessors of chemistry. And these are based on the supposed transformations of matter. And alchemists believe that they could find the philosopher's stone. And these philosopher's stones will refine the best materials into the precious metals. According to their imaginations, the philosopher's stones was a magical wax liquid or powder that could heal minor illness and prolong people's life as well as change the best metals into the precious metals. Although they are not successful to find the philosopher's stones, they were successful to prepare alloy and the extractions of different best metals. In the book, the skeptical chemist Robert Boyle clearly mentioned the distinctions between alchemy and chemistry and the main difference is that the chemists apply the scientific method of their work we heard a new term the law of conservation of mass and this law means that the mass can't be created can't be destroyed also that means it remains intact throughout the chemical process nowadays these are invalid however because in the nuclear reactions mass can be changed in higher class we will learn about this though Anthony Lavoisier developed this law which needs some careful measurements and these careful measurements and the observations lead to the establishment of chemistry as a separate branch of science a separate systematic branch of knowledge.